Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. This is a completed mini album with photos. This album measures, the cover is six and a half by seven and a half. So it's kind of an odd size, but it's what I needed to fit all my little Mickey shaped um, tabs in there. You can see them, there you go. So mine needed to be a little wider. Now I got the idea for this album and the tutorial that I followed is from Corrine at uh, Corrine's Creations. And so I will put a link in the description of her series. And I'm also going to link the Disney album where I got the inspiration from that she had completed. Uh, and that's kind of how I knew I wanted to make one for our last trip. So this was from our 2013 Disney World vacation. And it's very chunky. As you can see, it's very thick. There's 12 pages in here. She shows you how to make all the pages. She shows you how to... She also has a tutorial if you're a Cameo user on how to make tabs um, with your Cameo, which I don't. Um, I still use my Cricut. So um, she also shows you how to make some little pockets and some little flip out things. So very, very easy tutorial to follow. Once I started, it was so fun to put this whole thing together. So I know I'm going to make several of these. Uh, maybe not all of them this thick. This one I really needed thick. I made two because I thought I was going to put more pictures in it, but um, I only ended up using one of the albums. So her original albums she does with six page pages. I'm sorry. So it's about half this size. But I think this still turned out pretty cool. So my spine piece is three and a quarter inches wide just to accommodate what I was doing. So um, the pages, the actual pages, they measure um, seven and a quarter by, I think it's five and three quarters, five and a quarter, way off there by half an inch. So um, she shows you how to make all of the pages and each page has an opening so you can put a pull out tag in and the entire book this is my halfway point will lay I have some um, dimensionals and things in here that prevent mine from really laying flat but it will if you don't have a lot of stuff popped up so in between there's a quarter of an inch space in between each page and that's why I went ahead and utilized um, being able to use these these little glittery things and everything. So like I said, this is 12 pages. Um, the paper stack that I used, I used the same one that she used um, in the first Disney album I saw her make, which is an EK Success pad. This is so cute. I bought two of these because I didn't know how much I was going to use and I didn't want to run out of paper. But I never even had to go into the second one. Like I said, I covered two entire albums. Um, using one whole pad of paper and I still have a little bit left over. There's also another mixture of papers in here. Um, just kind of a Mod Podge of things that I was pulling out that I needed to use for like booklets or other mats and stuff. So you'll kind of see some other papers like this red polka dot on the inside, that's a recollections page. So on the front I have a waterfall and I learned how to make this waterfall from Ginger at my sister's scrapper. I just changed the size to accommodate um, for the size of photos I needed. So just use some puffy stickers and some Queen and Company shaped Mickey shaped bling pieces that I got from a friend. And so these all flip up and then there's a photo on each one. This was the first day. This was like our arrival day. So that's how that goes. And then this is the first page. So we went to Epcot the first day um, as far as the parks went. But this is just um, another mat with our first night there. I haven't done any journaling. I did on this one but that's it. So I'll go back and do all my journaling later. 
So this was um, another picture from Epcot with the big ball behind them. And then she shows you how to make these pockets. I just used some Queen & Company washi tape on this. Or trendy tape, whatever they call it. And then I cut the Mickey out on my Cricut. So I made two little booklets that hold full-size photos, full 4 by 6s So there's that one. We were just kind of waiting at the bus stop. Oops. And then there's the boys. And you can always add another picture on the back if you really wanted to, but I just left them like that. And then another pullout. And the tabs that I did here that are connected to my mats, um, I learned how to use the Cricut Craft Room with the help of a really dear friend. Thank you, Margaret. Um, I wasn't sure. I'd only used the Craft Room one time, and it was like three years ago. So not really familiar with it, but she really helped me figure it out. And once I got it working, I, I kind of like it. So I'll probably use it more often. And then here's another 4 by 6 photo. And all the 4 by 6 photos that are on these pages, or even the smaller ones, I used the Tonic Studios punch. It's a double punch. It's got a tag and a ticket. And then she shows you how to make these little pockets with magnetic closures. I just used basic gray magnets. And I just put like six photos in here. This was just the boys trying on a bunch of the silly hats that they have in the stores. So those, I didn't math them or anything, it would just make it thicker, so I just slide them in there. And then I did some satin bows, and then another mat with full 4x6 photos. That just slides in there. And then I did a, a tri-fold, um, big enough to house full-size photos. I can stick this up a little bit so you guys can see a little better. So this has four photos in it. Um, this is what the little pizza boxes look like at the resort. So we had pizza just kind of hanging out. Oh, there's a little bit of a glare from my window. Um, so this is another photo, Animal Kingdom. And another full-size picture here and there. I might have to lay this flat. It's kind of a big book. <laughs> and then this was at Downtown Disney. They have a Lego store. And so this Hulk was all built out of Legos. And then here's another tab. Playing in the building called Disney Quest. They have it's a three-story building that has unlimited video games for the kids to play. And then here's a pocket on this side. And she shows you how to make these pockets. And inside the pockets, I just have a large mat with a full-size 4x6. And then I have another little booklet with some pictures of the boys. And then I made some little tags just to... Um, we got some giant Rice Krispie treats and cookies, so we took pictures of them, and these things were full of sugar, but they were yummy. And so there's like a giant Mickey cookie and a little Mickey cookie. So it's just fit in there. And then another full-size picture on this side. And I started wanting to put more pictures in it, so what I did is I used some more of the Queen & Company Trendy Tape and just made it flip up so I could fit two pictures on each mat. Just like that. And then I did another tri-fold. They were toasting marshmallows. That was at the resort. And then another picture on this side. This was at Blizzard Beach. I did another flip up. And then this one flips up this way. 
I like that little flip up trick because that's you can fit more pictures in there that way. Then here's another full size picture. I really thought I'm not a Coke fan. I drink Pepsi, but um, the kids don't care. They don't really have a preference as far as soda. So, but this looked really cool, and I was like, that'd make a really great picture. So they were kind of climbing on that. And here's another pocket like the other one. So I have another full size four by six. Another little booklet. This is outside the Star Tours ride. You can get your picture taken with these little things. And then two more tags. This is just Ty and I goofing off waiting for Caleb and Jeremy to get back from something. This was the Muppet Vision 3D show. So there's the boys in their 3D glasses. And then on the back side, there's a fountain that's got the Muppets in it, or on it. And then two more full-size pictures, another mat with just the kids, so it just has one each on those. Like I said, I'll go back and do journaling later. Another full-size photo and another pocket with a little satin bow and this one just has pictures um, outside Pirates of the Caribbean they have a little show that has a fake Jack Sparrow <laughs> who does a little performance and this guy really really came close to looking like Jack Sparrow so um, yeah kind of kind of creepy but yeah that was fun and then here's some more with another flip up. We were just waiting for the bus. And we went back to downtown Disney for the video games again. Can't get enough of those. And then another pocket on this side with two more booklets. That's just the kids. And then their tube of sugar. In Goofy's Candy Shop, you can get these tubes, and then you just fill them up with the flavored sugar powder stuff. Ugh. And then here's another full-size, um, not full-size, but another larger picture. And Pirates of the Caribbean. We're huge pirate fans in our house. And then this page, I didn't want to cover up Mickey Mouse, so I just left it. Because <laughs> it was too cute. Here's another full size 4x6. And some more pictures. And then on the end here we have Duffy, which is Mickey Mouse's bear. Um, he came with a little storybook and everything. Caleb got him in 2009. And so Duffy has been back to Disney World twice with Caleb. And I'm sure he'll go again if we go. He's got a little Pirates of the Caribbean shirt on, but you can't really see it that well. And so he's he looks pretty rough. He's been through a lot. <laughs> and then on the back, I made an envelope. And I just used my envelope punch board for this. And I just looked up the size of envelope I would need for a 4x6 card. And using some Velcro is how I have the closure. So I could just fit um, a handful of four by six pictures in there. This was just the day that we were going home. So that's just, I think there's like six. I don't think you can get much more than that in there unless you make the envelope thicker. So that is that. That is my entire completed Disney album. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, you can leave comments or message me or whatever. I put all, I'm going to put all the links in the description for you. So that way you guys can totally go make one of these. These are really fun to do. They take a little bit of time because you are you're building the entire album, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun. So I know I'll be making more of this style. I really love this style. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little walkthrough and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!